Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Kathleen Live on, a, on Facebook at Push for Parenting Facebook page at 3 pm. I hope you're getting this loud and clear today, inshallah. I hope your family and yourselves are well, inshallah, and keeping safe and well and healthy. And inshallah, we'll all stay that way, and may Allah protect us all indeed uh, during this very difficult time. Alhamdulillah, the weather is wonderful again today, mashallah, and I hope that you are all actually out enjoying the weather and not watching this on your Facebook page. But if you are tuned in, do give me a wave or do send me a comment to let me know that you are you're tuned in and that you are um, responsive to us. It's always nice to know that there's people watching in uh, indeed to what we're saying. Uh, if you watched me on Tuesday, we were talking a lot about um, issues that were happening at home that people were not attending hospitals. So that was from pregnancy where pregnant moms were had some reduced fetal movements and they didn't want to contact anybody or they didn't want to go to hospitals to actually um, talk about this because they were worried that they may have to stay there. And there's a lot of that happening at the moment, unfortunately. And we want to get the message across that you need to contact somebody. You need to contact your midwife, your GP, or the hospital if this is happening to you. Do not please stay silent if you're feeling reduced fetal movements, or if you're worried about anything, or if your waters break, and especially if there's meconium there. Please, please contact somebody immediately. Don't put off this. We, we want to see a healthy mom, a healthy baby, a healthy family, inshallah. So please do contact somebody if you are worried or in this condition and uh, pregnant and worried about that. We know also there is problems with breastfeeding. So we've had a, a few referrals from parents that um, have gone home from hospital having difficulties there. Now breastfeeding is natural it does happen naturally it is free it is on tap it's sterile and we know all the the beautiful uh, components of breast milk is important for baby there and we know that that changes so it quenches baby's thirst it gives baby a lovely meal and it also gives baby a dessert so everything is in there in that breastfeeding milk that is supplied but it can be difficult especially in the first few days to just establish that that breastfeeding together and establish that uh, that routine together and we want you to be able to do that effectively and have the support for that now we know it is more it is more difficult more harder is not a word there to do if you are not um, if somebody is not able to see you doing that and over the phone support is is more difficult but it can still be beneficial and there is apps that can help you and videos that can help you out there and I want to introduce you to one of those apps that we know is really really good and we want to you to be able to avail of it and this is the baby buddy app so it's a, an app that was developed by best beginnings it's called the baby buddy app it is free it has have all the certification here from NHS health visitors etc of its importance and how it is used um, I'll just open the leaflet inside. It looks like this inside when you open it with a lot of videos, etc. in there. Now there's over 300 videos in there. And I have downloaded and actually have my baby by the app. I'm not too sure if you can see this, but this was me. This is my avatar where I put a hijab on myself and um, pretended I had was pregnant and it taught me about the due date and gave me a lot of information there. And if you go into it, you can see there's videos, lots of videos, 300 videos actually in there that you can watch. If you're looking at breastfeeding, there's 31 on breastfeeding alone in there from why breastfeeding is important, getting started, good positioning of feeding, early weeks, early months, overcoming challenges, breastfeeding, longer term, and expressing breast milk so there is 
videos in there. All of these videos are only two, three minutes long. So it's not going to, you're not going to be there watching a long video, but they're there giving demonstrations and that will help you and help your partner or whoever's with you at home at this time to see are you positioning right and give you that information so it may be just some little watching this video that may help you and think okay I didn't realize that the areola needs to go in as well I didn't realize the baby's head needs to be like this I didn't realize that um, I can do different positions from lying down feeding lying down or sitting up so this is important information for all mums out there to be able to position properly and if you've had a cesarean section you need to be pain-free first and um, to be able to sit in a comfortable position because if you're not pain-free you can imagine you're in pain you're going to be like this you're going to be tense baby's going to pick up on this and baby's not going to be latch able to latch on properly so please take pain relief be pain-free Put yourself in a comfortable position, whether it's sitting up or whether it is lying down. Use pillows to make yourself comfortable and use pillows to help support baby as well so that baby is in the right position. And then use different positions that will help baby to feed properly. And soon you will, it will all fall into place because this is so natural for baby to be able to position and feed. But baby picks up on your tension on and when you are a bit stressed over this so the important thing is to relax and um, think of the benefits think of the bounties of this think of the rewards mashallah you're getting for this the reward you get for breastfeeding your baby is mentioned in Quran you know this is something that is mentioned in Quran if you're able to do it of course we know some people may have uh, difficulties there that they may not be able to do it and uh, in and they may not be able to get equipment to be able to do it but may be able to express and give baby express milk so there's ways around doing this and we want you to be to be comfortable now if you need support we at approachable parenting have breastfeeding buddies these breastfeeding buddies have been trained up to UNICEF standards so we're all UNICEF trained to be able to give you the right information and the right tips there to help you to in this situation and we want you to to be able to succeed in this and um, at the moment we do have included breastfeeding in our programs we are um, delivered these online we just finished one before Easter for a pregnancy and beyond is a four-week course and um, of course it is recognized and it has been delivered in the NHS and Women's Hospital as well as other places and we think that this is a really good course for, for parents to come on because it doesn't just talk about breastfeeding it talks about a lot of other things and a lot of other changes that happens uh, over pregnancy and after birth and things that you need to be aware of indeed in at time so we want to give you that support that help and we are there and when I say we I say my team because we are alhamdulillah quite a big team we have about 40 sparklers who are parent peer mentors these are trained up to be parent peer mentors to listen and befriend you as parents to help you with issues and a number of them not all 40 but a number of them are trained up to be breastfeeding buddies we also have about another 40 trainers up and down the country who are um, trainers to deliver our programs but a lot of them are counsellors psychotherapists also to help and support you and they've come back and say yes we're there we're willing to help so we know the referrals are coming in and we match the referrals to your needs indeed at this time and we're trying to help and support as many people as we can with as much knowledge as we can so before I end, I want to relate to this COVID-19 period in the postnatal period in looking after yourself and how to look after yourself better. And we need to be looking at different areas when we are looking after ourselves because as mums, we often don't put ourselves first and if, if you have other children in the family and you've got a new baby coming in there's more strains and stresses on you because you don't have that extended family support possibly you may be 
just alone or you may be living in an extended family but you may be caring for people in that extended family and we know a lot of our, our families are like this where there is maybe eight, nine members of the family in the one household and you may be looking after your parents and grandparents and cooking for them in this extended family. So you need to take care of yourself as well. This is really important. So we've divided it into different categories. One, healthy eating. So you need to look after yourself and make sure you're eating healthily. Have a varied diet. Eat regular meals. Keep hydrated. And it's very easy in this hot weather not to keep hydrated and to skip meals which you need to keep hydrated and make sure you're checking your vitamin D and taking in foods that contain vitamin D. Exercise. Go for a walk if possible. Go out to the garden if you have a garden or go for a, a walk if somewhere locally um, that you can that we're still allowed to do that and go for walks. It's good, really important for you. Set a time aside to take to do your postnatal exercises. So we know that this is important. It's important for your for your well-being, for yourself. Oh, my alarm is coming to an end, so we need to be careful of this. Go up and down the stairs, get dressed at the same time. Also, look at make sure you're sleeping well. Have some power naps. Get up at the same time every day and get dressed. Managing stress, make sure you're breathing well. Uh, take 10 minutes aside to do something that you enjoy. Seek professional help if you need it. Give yourself a time to adjust to the changes and try and have a plan in place. Lower your expectations. Really important this time to lower your expectations. I know we always want to do things perfect and as parents we think we should be super mums and do everything perfect. Please, you know, give yourself a chance have some me time and then spiritually wise look at your intentions look at prayer and Quran and how we're including that in our lives and think verily they will come ease so with every hardship comes ease inshallah and ask Allah to make things easy for us and inshallah, inshallah Allah will listen to our dua so we, we have these tips up on our Facebook page, up on our Instagram, um, so you can seek them up on Twitter so you can uh, view them and uh, look at them more. Indeed, there's a few more tips in there that I wasn't able to cover today. I hope this was helpful for you. Please respond to us if it is. And inshallah, please look after yourself and take care of yourself. And until next Tuesday, look after yourself and stay safe. Assalamu alaikum.